Won't you forget about me? Ah 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 Yeah 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 Hello guys, here Miguel Montoya with another video. This day we are doing a simple installation of multicore, the most simple installation on the internet. The download file will be in the description of this video. Anyways, let's start. First, I have here ASF2000 with the stock firmware, as you can see by the awesome music. For starters, uh, download the files that I made available and then extract them. What we will do next is open the SD card and we're going to go inside our folder multicore patch and we're gonna select everything copy and paste into the root of our memory card the files will overwrite the original files from the SD card this multicore is a modified multicore, of course, it has the, the capabilities of the creation of Omokaze, the TV out. It has the, the Binister fix of the GBA BIOS. And yes, we, we, re we will replace, when it asks, we will replace the original files. It will ask you, man, do you want to do it? And you say, man, I want to do it. Okay. After we copy and paste this content, you can see there is a, a similar structure on the cores. Here, a similar structure on the cores. Each one of these cores is a console, more or less. Each one of these cores is one platform. And as you can see, in the folder ROMs, that is the, the folder for the user to, to put their games, uh, there are the same, uh, the same folders. Here you can see A26 is for Atari 2600. You can see, for example, um, GB it's Game Boy, GBA it's Game Boy Advanced, and so on. Now, before we do anything else, we should fix one thing using Tadpole. Tadpole will allow you to do lots of different modifications on your card, just like adding games to the default folders, adding new games to the multicore list, rebuilding your list, and so on. But today we are doing the simple guide. And in the simple guide, we just want to fix the bootloader and to fix the bootloader we'll simply go help and fix sf2000 not booting attempt to fix only the firmware file bisrv.ast it's the first option help and then this and we pick this and we just follow the instructions it's pretty simple but i will do it if your SF2000 won't boot, you likely hit the bootloader bug or have broken some critical files. This process attempts to restore your SF2000. And it goes without saying, you have to be connected to the internet. If it has to, do to download any additional files, it will be helpful, of course, that you're connected to the internet. And it say, do you want to continue? And you say, yes, I want to do it, man. Please take the SD card and plug it into the SF2000. We just eject our SD card. And now it will try to patch those critical files. In theory, in theory 
as you can see multicore alpha did it put yes it put we're going to grab the card this is a standard procedure it might not happen to your sf2000 but it doesn't matter this is um, a fail safe for the future and you're gonna say did it put yes now it says apply the bootloader fix and it's sending you there now after doing this uh, critical fi file repair you can go to os firmware and then bootloader fix prevents device from not booting and corrupting sd card when changing files on the sd card and we'll apply the bootloader fix you can keep this window open while you apply the fix eject the sd card from your computer we applied successfully the bootloader fix now we can do the the last bit we go and to our games and we simply copy paste them into our roms folder we go to the folder roms on our sd card and then we do what we have to do with uh, our files i go to in my case i have four games on this side that i'm going to put to put in the right folders meaning this i go to gb and copy tetris dx and to the folder then i go to sega which is mega drive sega cd master system it should be called sega there it is then i copy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge, and to the folder Sega. These are all multi-core folders. Then I go to Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure for GBA. I do copy. Then I go into the folder GBA. And paste it. All done. Now we have to remake our ROMs list. We can close this. And there will be two scripts here. The script for Windows, it's this one. Make ROMs list bat, dot bat. Okay, you have the version for Linux and you have the version for Windows. You go to make ROM list. As you can see, it has the small cogs it's a batch file then we double click it and made our ROMs list now you just press any key to continue and now we made the ROMs list on multicore we installed multicore we applied the bootloader fix uh, we put our ROMs in the right folders and then we remade our lists it's all good and now we can inject the SD card and play if you guys change the mapping sorry sorry the microphone if you guys change the mapping for a modern mapping for GBA that is what I use I will show you we I will edit into the screen so you can see if you change for a, a modern layout it will probably bug some controls on the um, on the multicore i'm explaining this but um, the controller for, G for gba is buggy and since gba default controls all the cores if you don't want to have any problems this is the mapping to use and if you have some variation remember when you come back to play snares on multicore or you come back to play mega drive or genesis if you're american on multicore you will have to redo your mappings the aspect ratio is correct what a weird thing what the fuck this is so weird Thank <laughs> you.
This is an amazing machine. This file is a multi-core file for options. It will return the aspect ratio to its original. There must have been some kind of bug with multi-core. It's all good now. I will post this file tomorrow so you can fix your multi-core. If you want original spec ratio in Game Boy and uh, Pico 8. It's all good for now. If you have any questions or need any help, you can leave on the comments. If you like the video, also leave a like. If you didn't like the video, still leave a like please. Because it helps me. Uh, see you next time guys. Take care.